Chers frères et sœurs africains, oui, je suis comme vous, même si je suis européen, main. guidé par la même vision, la même passion, unis dans nos créations, qu'on multiplie à l'unisson, on élargit notre horizon, chaque fois qu'on se parle, le combat nous rassemble, ainsi on surmonte les obstacles, je rends grâce aux old school qui gardent les pieds sur terre, qui ont permis à ce mouvement de traverser les frontières. Caravane, fortifiez vos âmes, aiguisez vos lames, le combat continue, il faut lever les points. Yeah. Caravane, les hip hop traversent l'Afrique, on fait pas ça pour le fric, mais pour nos frères et sœurs qui ont trop subi. Caravane, que tu sois noir ou blanc, femme ou homme pour briser ce système qui nous opprime, il faut qu'on serre les liens. What that exhibition in many ways symbolizes is, is that impulse of people from around the world to actually align themselves as a cause that in many ways had absolutely nothing to do with them physically. Guidé par la même vision, la même passion Unis dans nos créations qu'on multiplie à l'unisson On élargit notre horizon Chaque fois qu'on se parle, le combat nous rassemble Ainsi on surmonte les obstacles Je rends grâce aux old school qui gardent les pieds sur terre Qui ont permis à ce mouvement de traverser les frontières Caravane, fortifiez vos âmes, aiguisez vos lames, le combat continue, il faut lever les points. Yeah. Caravane, les hip hop traverse l'Afrique, on fait pas ça pour le fric, mais pour nos frères et sœurs qui ont trop subi. Caravane, que tu sois noir ou blanc, femme ou homme pour briser ce système qui nous opprime, il faut qu'on serre les liens. What was required now after that, you know, the parliament had all the other paintings which were used by the former government, you know, yeah, with the pictures of B.J. Foxter, all the other ex-president or, you know, or head of states, you know. And then we were told now that um, those work have to be dismantled, they have to come out from the walls. While we were doing that, you know, because um, there was a new MPs who were now going to be, you know, in the in, in the parliament, you know, so they were just passing by, looking at what we were taking out, you know. You can see that okay, most of the people from the uh, other parties that were previously not in the parliament, they were very happy to see, you know, those, uh, you know, big past and big paintings coming down. One should appreciate that the exhibition coming to South Africa in 1995 comes at a very historic moment in this, the country's history um, in the sense that 1994 was the first democratic election and 1995 uh, was when this collection came to South Africa and as I recall it was actually put up in Parliament in many ways to commemorate or more or less coincide with the uh, first uh, term of office for most of the new democratic members of parliament. Well, for me, uh, it's a wonderful full collection. Uh, certain pieces resonate with me, you know. You look at them and then you feel the impact that the apartheid has played, you know, in, you know, in oppressing the people, you know. Wolf Forstel, a very powerful, uh, 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 you know, uh, painting, you know, because, I mean, that time, 
most of the you know students were being killed uh, letter bombs and all that you know so that was all about killing you know i can also make an example of my langatana i quite like that painting you know uh, the way he depicted there you know if you see those figures with a uh, long uh, 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 teeth and long nails you know for me it, it looks like i mean that was the i can say a uh, apartheid monster those laws which were oppressing uh, 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 people you know and then as you can see there those people who are in the picture there are fearful <laughs> depressed you know mm -hmm. of the condition that they are under you know i mean that one for me you know it, 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 it speaks out so love it mm. you know i mean for me it also shows that okay um well looking in south african uh, 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 situation yeah of course i mean uh, uh, the africans are the majority you know and then as you can see the black is overwhelming that part which was white but now is becoming gray you know and then to me it, it speaks to me that okay eventually you know uh, uh, you know the apartheid has lost its grip i would have two observations really about the the uh, dynamics of that exhibition coming to south africa i think i think firstly and importantly i don't think the art really meant much if anything at all to um, to many of, many of the new members of parliament, especially from the ANC side. And in fact, I would think that they had very little connection to the people of South Africa generally. I think we need to appreciate that South Africa has never, certainly under apartheid, it was, uh, art education was, was something that was pretty much unheard of. Um, I think there were two or three high schools in the whole of South Africa which uh, had black schools where there was an art program for instance um, so there was a, not much understanding and appreciation of let's call it contemporary mod or modern art now that collection has some very well-known artists um, and they would be very meaningful to an international audience but two things firstly not many of those artworks were actually done specifically for the collection. So the subject matter doesn't talk to the situation in South Africa necessarily. And secondly, many of those artists were conceptual artists or abstract artists or pop artists. So there's very little subject matter in those artworks that talk to the South African situation. So yes, um, as an act of solidarity, as an act of awareness raising, especially in the international community, as an act of solidarity with artists in South Africa, it's a very, very important collection, a very important symbolic collection. But that doesn't mean that it's going to mean anything to the people of South Africa. I remember being part of the team that was hanging the work in Parliament. Uh, I would say nine out of ten people walking past and looking at the work had not a clue what the work was about and expressed it as such. And in fact, I would say that many of them found it quite alienating. Um, didn't really talk to them and their lived experience and their understanding of the world. So I think these exercises have got limitations and they need to be recognised as such.
And then I heard that now uh, the Maibuya archive, you know, was nominated to look after the collection. So that means that we are going to be the custodian of the collection. <laughs> I was the person at the Maibu Center for Eastern Culture who was responsible for the visual arts component. So when I was approached um, at the Maibu Center and asked if I would take responsibility for managing this program because basically there was nobody else. I'm the only person with a fine arts background and degree at the Maibu Center at the time. I was very reluctant because I knew that taking on a collection of that kind is a responsibility in perpetuity. I should say that um, the in South African National Gallery um, and the leadership of the South African National Gallery um, were very uncomfortable and were somewhat threatened by a lot of the changes that were going to be taking place in South Africa at the time. Um, so, we, using an, wearing another hat, I was appointed by the ANC to engage the National Gallery on areas of transformation and change, quite separate from this exhibition. Um, I happen to be of the view that placing these kinds of exhibitions inside those institutions would have challenged them to transform and change, and they could have become catalysts for that, and I still believe that. Um, and I'm, I'm not convinced that the decision to give that collection to the Maipo Centre and the University of the Western Cape was the correct one. Um, I still believe it should be at the National Gallery, but that's my view. I would wish that many more people could come and view the collection, you know. I mean, the artwork, you know, is visual. So one needs to look at it, you know, in order to understand. It might have played its role, but now what else can people do? Yeah, I can sit down and try to describe a painting. But if you don't see it, you won't visualize what I'm talking about, you know. Yeah, <clears throat> so the best way is to have the collection out there, you know. Yeah, of course, the title will be there, Art Against Apartheid. You just need, you know, to invite, you know, the public to look at it, just to see, you know, you know, what it really means now.